please. Allow me to show you something. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Yarbrough Creates. Really, really excited to present to you what we have. It's not story time, it's much different, and it's something that I normally would do with some of my friends, and I want to kind of do it with you guys, because over the past couple of videos, I feel like we've kind of developed a relationship together. We're past the first date, onto the second one. Something, something's growing here, and I feel a connection. Well, strap yourselves in for some more awkward jokes and stares. Cool. So what we're doing is I'm going to present a theoretical question to you based off of some fictional characters that are some of my favorite fictional characters uh, from the MCU. So uh, this video was recorded before going to see Endgame. And so after seeing it, it's amazing. I still stand by what I said. And at the same time, I might want to change it after Endgame. But I'll talk to you about it later. I don't want to spoil the movie for you. And I won't say anything that's spoily-ish unless I say the words spoilers. So with that said, let us have fun, have this conversation together. Can't wait to see what you guys write down below and just have fun with it. All right, let's do this. Let's dive right in. Get ready to see my clothes change and the background in three, two, one. If you had three characters from the Avengers, all of the Avengers. Uh, maybe, you know what, I'll make it easier. Maybe just the Avengers in the MCU, okay? So anybody who's been a part of the Avengers in the MCU, if you could pick three of those characters to defend you against the rest of them, like, who are you picking? Who would you pick to kind of fight off everyone else? Like, um, I think my top three, I'm going back and forth between this one, is gonna be probably Iron Man. Number one, hands down, uh, he's a super, super smart guy. He has a whole army of robots that he can kind of call upon with his like suits, whatever. So uh, I think that is pretty awesome. And I think that would kind of give like the Avengers a little bit like of a run for their money. The second choice, either Hulk or Thor. And the third choice, I'm kind of, I don't know how I feel about this one, but I, I might leave that towards uh, Captain Marvel from the MCU, if we're only going with the MCU because of like, in her movie, she kind of shows that she has a like crazy, crazy ability, like a crazy, crazy fighting style. So I, I'm probably gonna go a little bit more with, oh, this is so hard. Cause Hulk's ability, the angrier he gets, the stronger he gets. But I don't know, like I haven't seen him get like so strong to where I can kind of see he could easily overthrow Thor. Cause Thor, you know, not only with Thor with that crazy hammer, but Thor with, like, his new hammer. Like, that hammer slash axe that Groot made him. It's so dope. And we've seen Thor go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Hulk, and we kind of don't really know who would win that fight. Um, because it was kind of, like, interrupted by another guy, so we don't really get a chance to know. Okay, I got it. I think I would do uh, Tony Stark with Iron Man suits, Thor, and then I'm going to go with the Hulk. I'm going to go with the Hulk because I think... The Hulk would have an easier time, kind of. Hulk or Thor would have an a, an okay time. I think they would do pretty good against like you know, holding down um, Captain Marvel, like pushing her back. I think it's gotten this too long, but I've had a lot of fun, like almost geeking out with you guys, talking about this kind of topic. Maybe you're not as passionate as I am about it. Maybe you are, but it'd be really cool to kind of see what your guys' thoughts are. You can only pick three guys from the Marvel movies to fight off the rest of the guys and defend you. Well guys, that is it for today. But real quick for some fun stuff. Um, if you haven't seen Endgame, I'm gonna talk about some Endgame stuff real quick, very quick. Um, so this will be a little spoily-ish after the segment. So if you haven't seen it yet, um, go ahead and click off now. I give you permission. Bless thee. Ready? Okay. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. That movie was amazing. I, uh, oh my gosh. It's it's right up there with some of my favorite, like my favorite, my favorite movies. Um, my favorite Marvel film has to be uh, Thor Ragnarok and it's probably also one of my favorite movies of all times. 
And this was so good. The tone of this movie was very serious at a point, and then they broke it up with the rat that saved the universe. Seriously, if that little mouse didn't release Ant-Man, I don't know what would have happened. I talked to some of my friends, and a lot of them said they would love to have seen a more in-depth look at some of the characters going through those five years. And to me, the movie was already three hours, and if they would have done that, it would have been like a six-hour film, and there would have been like a much more um, depressing moment. And it would have felt a lot more like One Piece, which is a great anime that my wife and I have done a extreme marathon on, and we have cried our eyes out watching. And, and to an extent, it, it really... Um, it really earned my tears. This one, I didn't choke up. I didn't. I feel like choking up a little bit now, but I, it, it didn't hit me as hard. Only because I feel like in this this movie, the way it was, the way it opened up the uh, the ending and uh, some aspects here, it doesn't, doesn't quite lead me to believe that Tony and some of these characters are really gone. If the writers want to, they can easily bring them back in a lot of different cool ways. Like we can easily get like a cooler, not cooler, but like a younger version of Tony back in. We can go back in time and get Scarlett Johansson back as Black Widow. So they can easily bring these characters back and I can prove it because Gamora is back. And she died in the last movie from like being sacrificed by Thanos. So this character can definitely come back. One thing I thought was amazing was how they handled the fight sequence at the end of this video so well thought out, so cool. Something I didn't see a lot of people talk about um, was the fact that when Captain America picked up Thor's hammer, he was fighting with techniques that him and Thor have used together and combined those techniques uh, to put in some damage on Thanos holding his, his own um, until Thanos wrecked his shields. So now I'm curious about what his sword or his blade is made out of that can cut through vibranium. And I think even I mentioned this in the video that, or, no, I think it was the last video, that Wolverine's claws might be one of the few things that could cut through his shield. And that's why I said that Excalibur's sword could have, if it was made out of that, would have done some damage to his shield. Um, but that movie was amazing. Uh, right, right, Greta? Yeah. It was amazing. I, I absolutely loved it. It was three hours long, but I don't feel like it was three hours. And I am like craving to go back and see it again. But who has an extra three hours lying around? Oh my goodness, that was such an amazing, amazing, amazing part. I don't think I'll talk about things I didn't like. I don't wanna do like an in-depth review of that video or that movie here. It's not really my, my I don't really have a review section. I don't mind doing reviews. Um, and I've talked to Greta even about like doing some like small reviews of like anime. Like uh, like I just talked about, we were doing One Piece. I'm a huge anime fan and I'm a huge fan of like Marvel and DC. And if you would like to know my thoughts on like some of these franchises that come out, especially Star Wars. I absolutely love Star Wars. I think a lot of you know that and can tell by this channel. Next week we'll probably be doing an actual like um, custom. I don't know if I'll be doing a sneaker or something different, something new, but it's still gonna be a custom that I know you're gonna love and enjoy. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Really looking forward to uh, developing and growing this channel with you guys and just having fun. That's my number one rule with this channel. It's having fun and having fun with you guys. Because I, I just love to have these kind of like fun little like conversations. That's why I love making these videos as well as love doing live videos and interacting with you guys. Well, I'm gonna end it here. It's been a lot of fun. I know I said it before, I'm not gonna say it again. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you want to see more, bra bra, click, click. All right. Enough much cheesy, like, shappy jokes. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm looking forward to it. Adios. Tink. 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 Sup guys, welcome back to my channel, hosted here in my New York apartment, as you can tell with the environmental noises of people walking and talking as if they're in my room. <laughs> that was perfect. Yeah.